there are dozens of ways to raid in Rust. Just to name a few, you can raid with hammers, spears, silence, pumps, sleeping bags. It technically counts for this. I got it! I got it! I got the code! However, most Rust players are set in their ways when it comes to raiding. So I sat down with a Rust veteran to get to the bottom of this. When was the last time you raided with an Yoka? If you count 9,000 hours ago, but since then it's only been Sulfur and Rockets. It seems that most of the player base has this mindset. So today I'm making it my goal to do every type of Rust raid in one singular light. As soon as I loaded in, the first goal was to find a base to eco raid. I'm still swimming. I'm uh, naked with a rock and he's still chasing me. Also, professional eco raider Sebi K will be joining me for the earlier stages of raiding. Since Sebi got into a fight, I crafted up a bow and ran over to him. Where he at? I'm right here. Found him. I killed him. After winning that bow fight, I turned around and noticed a decaying base. At first, it didn't seem like much, but then I noticed a massive flaw. Oh, wait. Oh, it's 3 HP. Wait, wait, we can soft side this or hard side, I guess. Okay, I guess this is the first eco raid. Sebi then came to help and whittled it down, completing our first eco raid. Oh, boxes. Or we should use all of this and go set up a free base. By setting up a base of operations, we'd be able to prepare for raids more easily. So we went to recycle at outpost. Oh, there's a there's a guy here, West. Yeah, I see him. He's on me. Shoot me. I shot him. Got him. Button loaded. Yeah, he, he had some stuff. With that fight out of the way, we were able to recycle and then build our base. Might, I'll just do a one by one for now with an airlock. Never mind, two by one. While we build the base, let me tell you the plan. In our area, there were a lot of wooden bases, so researching salvage sword was our number one priority. Yeah, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna be like 150 scrap, I think. So I hit some barrels, recycled, and then Sebi was able to research salvage sword. Uh, you got two blades, yeah? Yep, it's in the top left, top left corner. Yeah. Wait, do you want me to research it? Or do you want to do it? Ah, uh, you can research it. So with the salvage sword being learned, it was time to start exploiting bases. What salvage sword's pretty good. These weird bases, they made me so happy. Wrong side wall here. Does this lead out? I don't even know where this leads to. I, uh, I'm not sure. No, it leads to sleeper. It leads to sleeper. Make spears. Okay. There was a backwards wooden door frame that would be able to pick out with wooden spears. All right, guys, place your bets. Ooh. Oh, he's got a sword. Mega loot, mega loot, mega loot. Ooh, okay, that's not too shabby. I mean, metal frags we need. Yeah. Four metal blades, that's nice. I'll, damn it, I'll oh, take nice. it. Okay. Yeah. With the metal blades we got from that raid, we crafted salvage swords to raid a base with wooden foundations. Which foundation do you want to take? I think maybe the back right. Here you go. Uh. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, do we, do we have TC? Oh yeah, I can place my bag. There we go. The loot awaits. Ooh, not bad, not bad. <coughs> That's pretty smart. Other box ah. Not terrible. After that, I wanted <coughs> to find a very juicy raid. Thank I guys. ended up finding one, but this one we didn't have to exactly do much work for. Hey, that thing. Oh. Oh. Shot tier three. Oh. oh my god. Oh. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> eco oh raid! God. We eco raided this! Let's go! This base was a gold mine. This loot would surely help out in our future raiding endeavors. After oh, that, Sebi hopped 2200 off, and I scrap. my friend Blaze to help look for some bases to possibly exploit. Oh yeah. We took the scrap and went to Outpost to buy a minicopter. With this, we could fly all over the map, increasing our range in finding bases. Where to? I'm not sure. However, after searching for a little, we found something that piqued our interest. This base has a shop on it. It just kind of has some junk in it, but it probably has some like scrap. Oh, the vending machine's up top. <laughs> Don't sweat it. Okay. Mission impossible. <laughs> what we hit? No shots. After that swiftful death, I wasted no time. I grabbed the bow and went straight back to looking for bases. Just five minutes into the search, I had the most peculiar encounter. Yo, what did this guy just say? No. Oh. 
on, bro. Why do you have to be like that? Bro? If there's one thing I hate, it's racist Rust players. However, I had no idea where they lived. And as a result, I... Oh, okay, well, uh, I just fucked himself. <laughs> okay. All right. So we went over to their base with DBs to try and get one door deep before we started raiding. But something much better happened. Go deep on him. Let's go deep, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, me. Hey man! Hi! Wait, wait, okay, I'll let you in too. I'll let you in too. Here, help me. Yeah, you can toss us the loot. Ruthless. There is any, I don't know. I mean, they're kind of poor. Oh! Yeah! Yeah, here we go. Here, uh, oh, the stone, we needed that. Yeah, I'm grabbing stone and metal. The most primitive form of eco raiding door camping. After that sweet, sweet victory, we then planned on raiding the base with salvaged hammers. Alright, we can uh, we can also get the salvaged hammers crafted if you guys are down for that. Yeah? Which base do you have in mind? There's a sheet metal one up the hill. It's like a sheet metal. I think it was like a 2 by one or 2 by 2 So, we went to go check out the base that Blaze mentioned. I didn't even notice this base on our right. Remember the Sam site base? It was right next to this one. There would surely be trouble. Alright, got the hammers ready? Let's do it. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's trouble. Here, I'm dropping it, it's not happening. It is not happening. <laughs> okay, is there a man that just ran up on us? Let's go. Let's go back with guns. There was like six. <laughs> we had been jumped by the Samsite compounds group, so we swiftly ran back with gear before they could finish the raid. Yeah, uh, killed two. There's one left. Wait, he's. After winning the fight and clearing out the area, we got back to Salvage Hammer raiding. Salvage Hammer uh, metal after doors, a huh? Very gratuitous process. We're finally in. Oh, oh. oh nice. Salvage hey. Hammer metal door. How many does it take? It has to be a lot. We only had to Salvage Hammer through four doors. I'd say this is worse. It's who? I'll take it. Since this base was healthy, we decided to move into it and abandon our 1x2. We are in great shape right now. After that, Sebi and Blaze topped off for good. Their time in the wipe was over. It was now time to code raid. Oh, I'm so glad this base that we really had claw. I ran throughout the night and ended up the furthest from home I had ever been. This base was far inland and had a lot of doors. A perfect spot for a code raid. All right, welcome to hell. After two to three hours of this madness, nothing interesting happened until Oh. Come on, man. Oh. With George? George? What is it, George? <laughs> no shot. Hey, what's up, what are you doing? On... What are you doing? If you didn't know, George had been in my first code rating video where I made a clan. By coincidence, him and his group were playing on this server. Anyways, he didn't hesitate to help me code rate. Pretty soon, we were flying through code. It was only a matter of time before we got it. I got the code. Oh, what? You got the... Wait, wait, wait. Actually, what is it? What is it? What is it? Oh my god, dog. It's a 1928. <laughs> oh you got it. You got it. You got it. Wait, you actually got it. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. That's oh, just 600 claw. Watch out. Oh, no. oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Look at the sulfur. Look at the sulfur, dude. This base is actually loaded. The code raid ate up six hours of my time. So when I spawned back at base, everything had changed. All right. Oh my god, that got massive. Oh. Yo, what's up, man? Holy shit. Our base got huge. Did you guys get raided by them or something? Yeah, dude, they just... Oh. Well, uh, I hope they don't raid my base. It's not very good. The Sam site group. You can't do that anymore. Wait, you can't do what anymore? Code lock raid? Wait, how did they stop it though? You can just have to go about it a different way. It's much harder. Gives you a timer like an iPhone now. Cooldown after four fails is 15 minutes. Oh, that's rough. It probably doesn't happen much then. 
night, and it seemed like they were dumb. Getting raided? I don't think so. Dominating everyone else in the area as well. It was clear to me that they were my last and final raid. The final boss. Here's the plan. I'd give George all the sulfur I got from raiding. It equates to roughly one and a half boxes of cooked sulfur. His group would craft a boom and make rockets. They'd meet up with me and give me some gear. Then would build a raid base inside of their massive compound. That was the plan. All right, here we go. So they raided them first. Continue like, booming, like right here, right here, right here. After 15 minutes of rocketing, it's safe to say that it was the fattest raid that we did all life. Look at the rockets, bro! Wait, wait, wait. In here! Oh my Yo! It actually kind of is. What the? Easy loot. Let's go upstairs. Let's go. Let's break upstairs. When I say this base was loaded, I mean it was loaded. For row of sulfur. So oh, rocket! Oh, oh, three red cards. Oh my god! Four red cards. After that raid, sulfur. there was nothing else left to do. Or was there? I summoned the power of a hundred men and did the infamous naked rockster to finish off the raid. Like, like oh, so many just died from a fucking grenade. Oh. Dropping charcoal. Dead. Well, the entire Zerg was maddening. We at least did a little rock Zerging. If you enjoyed this video, you'll enjoy me making a one grid wide base. Yes, click, click now.